Oh, oh, I gotta make a video, but oh, I'm too injured. Oh god, I'm in too much pain. Oh god, this really hurts. Ow. Uh, this isn't a part of the skit for any reason. I swear. Uh, oh my god. Ow. Uh, hold on. Let me uh, heal myself with a health pack. So I gotta say, with the lack of a health pack, I honestly feel like PlayStation 190 Spider Man right now. Health! Health! I need health! Oh, hey. Do you have health? Help! I found help! Imagine if uh, the Venom from that game pops out of nowhere and it's just like, uh, Surf the web! Surf the web! And then we'll go from there. Pay attention to the background lights. They're very important to this part of the video, okay? Give me five seconds. Oh, hey. I'm already at full health. Been a minute since the last proper review of a game on this channel. The last one being God of War Ragnarok. But now we're here to talk about Dead Space Remake. We've come very far, as you could all tell. So I decided to play some Dead Space on the PS5 to see how this works and runs and feels and to see how quickly I can shit my pants. And what's there to say? Well, there's at least a few things to say about Dead Space Remake. Gotta say, this game is pretty beautiful Hello? looking. Where is everybody? I imagine there's much game. to see, Be but proud, you gotta see your one piece. even in performance awesome, mode, but this looks incredible. It's, uh, it's a new game release for one. I know it's technically not a new release, but if Final Fantasy VII Remake counts, then a old game rebuilt from the ground up such as Dead Space also counts. And it counts in more ways than one because what a time this was. The 13 hours that I put in from beginning to the end was nothing short of very engrossing and all around incredible. And I want to talk a bit about that for a few minutes because there's a reason why Dead Space is viewed as such an iconic piece of horror gaming for as long as it's been around for. Because this, this is a game that knows how to take a formula which is very saturated, very oversaturated, especially in the gaming medium and knows and understands uh the idea behind it's not necessarily the idea but more so how you utilize the idea and how you execute it so kicking off the story the story itself is one that i'm not gonna spoil because we don't do that sort of things in these reviews but one that really knows how to get your attention from the start from the very start when you as isaac clark are boarding the ishimura with your squad and then proceeding to see one of the team members uh, experience a, a not so lovely introduction to what surprisingly enough isn't exactly a, a great environment to be around you simply just weren't important enough for the plot you were fodder that had to go thank you for increasing the stakes we appreciate it and then from there, you get cut off with the rest of your team because when it comes to horror, of course, you gotta be by yourself. What, what better way to kick things off than to remind you, oh shit, I have no one to rely on except myself and my brain and whatever ingenuity that I have with me. Because seeing that Isaac Clark is the uh, genius that he is, he understands what I said about the idea of it's not about the idea, it's about how you execute it. In this case, that being what is the iconic plasma cutter. And instead of utilizing it and knowing that it's just simply a cutting tool, turning that into a weapon to own some motherfucking Necromorph's whip. And oh my god, is it so satisfying every single time, along with all the other weapons in this game. Whether it's the railgun as you literally rail away these groups of enemies as you proceed to maybe stasis them beforehand to slow them down before they can come and rush at you. Depending on what types of enemies they've got thrown at you because there's a decent uh, variety here. Whether it be the standard uh, necromorph types which like to constantly screech to let you know their location. It's sort of like a, a necromorph matey call I feel, you know what I mean? Ah, Jesus! Or whether it be the little, uh, tentacle babies which you can stomp into oblivion. Just so long as those tentacles still aren't peeking out and shooting, uh, uh, green Nickelodeon slime at you. Mutated Nickelodeon slime at you.
Burn, baby, burn! Ah, oh, god damn it! Or whether it be the big brute-like enemies, which will rush you like the, the fucking tank from Left 4 Dead, and the list goes on. But utilizing all these weapons at his disposal to handle and deal with all these different types of infected crew members who have succumbed to the, uh, well, necromorph infection. I mean, th there's no other way to put it. These motherfuckers are undead. They're space zombies come back to life reanimated. All thanks to a giant magic marker. It's crazy what sniffing a little bit of a permanent marker can do, but... Clearly, in this instance, it can lead to some uh, pretty disastrous results. Whether that being physical trauma in the form of being ripped apart limb by limb, or in the form of mental trauma such as psychosis or dementia, this game has it all, baby. Well, that's certainly a way to introduce yourself to new guests. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day now. I'm just gonna recharge real quick. So if you're just as mentally ill as the rest of us who are on this channel, then welcome aboard to Dead Space. The Ishimura will take you gladly. But point being is that from start to very end, I was highly engrossed and immersed in what was going on, and not once did the game show a single sign of repetition or any sort of padding or filler bullshit. I really felt like my 13 hours spent playing this game were more than worth it than, say, 36 hours spent in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I haven't thrown any shots at that game in a minute, so I had to fulfill that quota. It's a brand new year, so, you know, gotta mark it off the uh, checklist, but that's besides the point. Actual point being here is that I love everything this game has to offer. I love the characters. I, I love the twists and turns and uh, optional side missions, which the few that they have here, I really loved. I really enjoyed simply because unlike a lot of other side missions in many other games, which is simply a fetch quest of finding 15 feathers, finding those feathers and returning them to whoever lost them so they can take those feathers and proceed to shove them up their ass, um, they don't have any of that there in this game. Instead, what they have in Dead Space are extra narrative beats, which not only add to the lore, but add a bit more to certain characters. Look, I'm simply just following the trace of my goddamn girlfriend, and this is what I get. Uh, what it is to be a... be an engineer of all things. Oh, hey! Can you, like... chill out? Get it? Because you're on fire? <laughs> not funny. Imagine you just wakes up and lunches at her. You'll be fine do soon, David. I don't know where he's just like, blah, 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 blah. she's like, oh, Jesus Christ! The research appears to have been incorrect after all. Well, fuck this job. It's over. But yeah, I could definitely see why she's Isaac's girlfriend. Definitely seems like his type. Hey, nothing like a little uh, dissecting of the uh, reanimated, you know? Common interest. Granted, none of it is necessarily mandatory, but it is nice details which in many cases these side missions are so passive that just doing them you may not even realize them and by doing them it, it simply just feels like it's it's just another part of the main story especially because you're going to run into them with where you go in the game anyways so it's just it makes sense to do them it, it reminds me of say red dead redemption 2 in that sense where that's another example of a game which really understands adding value to the game through side content, as opposed to adding filler for the sake of justifying a $70 price tag. And all in all, everything that you loved about the original Dead Space, you're gonna love here. You love Dead Space, well, there you go. Anyone who hasn't played Dead Space, I highly recommend this. I absolutely loved my time with the game. And if we're talking about things that are wrong with it, because... Not only did I forget about that throughout this recording, but... The things that are wrong are so minuscule that they're nothing really more than nitpicks. Things such as maybe being reset back a few minutes after dying because of a certain checkpoint and how it was, how it was set up. Or maybe something such as how when you're in anti-gravity areas of the game, sometimes the line that you use in order to figure out where to go can be slightly disorienting. You know, it kind of spazzes out a little bit like um, Google Maps, GPS, so... That's another thing. Backtracking can be a little annoying at points. There's also times where the lack of ammunition in certain parts of the game can feel a little too purposeful, like the game's purposely trying to dick you over a little bit with that. Granted, it's not too bad and won't have too much of an issue finding ammunition not too long after the fact anyways, but little things like that are really the only flaws I can find in this game. And while playing this, 
I already had urges to replay the game once I beat it, which, considering the um, implementation of New Game Plus, I'm definitely going to go back and replay this. In fact, I'm actually live streaming this at some point just for the sake of having an excuse to play it and talk to you guys while doing that. I think that's all I need to say about Dead Space. Not much needs to be said. It's it's a fantastic game. It's a classic horror game for a reason. And just get it. Play it if you haven't. Even if you aren't in horror games, I still think this is worth experiencing. I think that it's streamlined enough and it has enough appeal to where even if you aren't necessarily a horror fan, you can still really enjoy your time with this. So definitely try it and that being said, that's going to be it for the review. I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say about the game. And with that being said, make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to follow me on TikTok if you have not. I just recently opened up a brand new account on there where I'm going to be having daily uploads on there. At a minimum of one new TikTok per day. And it's about to become two videos per day on there. All of them scheduled. Many of them being clips from videos on this channel. Some of them being original content that isn't on this channel, some of them being skits. It, it's a whole mix of what you've already seen, but with some new as well. So, if you're looking to see some, maybe, channel highlights along with some new things that you haven't seen in videos here, then go give my TikTok a follow. In fact, you should do it, period. Go. Go on. I have Dead Space clips on there. They're the same ones on YouTube, but still go watch them anyway. I need the TikTok views. I need that growth. It's important. There's no algorithm. I don't know what else I was going to say there. I just know TikTok doesn't have an algorithm. Maybe that in itself is the algorithm. I don't know. But what I do know is that I have nothing else to say for this video. So that's going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.